Oh, okay. good. Yep. Awesome. All right, just got to let the child know what's going on. Okay. All right, good evening. Thank you very much for coming along to our Thermix Thursday. Tonight, we're going to look again at uh, Christmas in July. I'm going to make a chicken, uh, chicken, turkey roulade. Um, so it's a turkey roll that I'm going to steam in the Varoma. And then I'm also going to make a, um, a nice little gift of uh, a biscuit uh, dough thing. You'll, you'll see. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Let us start. If you can let us know whether you have, um, please feel free to use the chat. Let us know if you have a um, what thermix you have or if you don't have a thermomix. Um, all right, so we have got, I have put them into my week. Um, and I also, little advertising, um, my daughter's coming home from training soon. And I've actually made her uh, spinach and cheese gozlame. Uh, she's a vegetarian, so she won't be having the, the turkey. Um, and yep, so I've put gozlame there as well for cooking tonight. So I'm going to get started with the gozlame. So with the turkey breast roulade or with every recipe, you can actually scroll down and see your total time, your portions, um, all your ingredients um, and all that sort of stuff, utensils, hints and tips and your um, nutrition. <laughs> um, now, what you can do, see how... We've got apricot stuffing and turkey potatoes and sauce. I'm actually going to see how that highlights. You can actually click on that and go to that step. So if you've got a recipe that does uh, pastry base, a filling and a topping, and all you need to make is the topping, you can just go straight to that, press on that step, yeah. and it takes you there. Lisa, um, can you, can you yeah. put the um, camera a little bit closer to the screen? Yeah. Can't. How's, yes, how's that's that? better. Yeah. That's better? All yeah, right, no you. worries. Um, so I am just going to start cooking. Um, and then as soon as it's cooking, I'm just going to have to unlock my front door because I completely forgot. Won't let the kid in. So one garlic clove. I've, I've of course, got two. And then we've got half an echelon, approximately 40 grams. Now, it actually hasn't brought the um, scales up. But what I'm going to do is I can actually bring them up here. Don't have to, but I can. So 47. Now, the other, <laughs> other thing, too, is that you don't have to be uh, a pedantic cook if you don't need, want to be, except for there's a couple of things that um, when you're doing making uh, caramels and honeycomb and stuff like that there's 10 grams of butter there's 20 grams of butter it's a good eyeball all right insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid and then next so three seconds at speed seven so it's just going to chop it next scrape down the sides with the spatula now, I always go around the outside with my spatula because you actually get more bang for your buck. And then scrape on the side, tap a little bit on the end. So insert measuring cup again. Next, so it's two minutes, 100 degrees, speed one. Um, and I'll get someone to talk about how the temperature goes up. Just as I run around the house, I'll just put myself on mute um, and unlock the door and uh, tell the dog off. One second. Um, okay, hi, Claire here. Uh, so um, you can see that it's counting down. Um, what happens with the heat is as it's slowly heating up to the temperature of 100, um, will start the time of the cooking once it gets there. But as you can see, it's slowly getting up to the temperature and then it has the countdown in the corner. So I think that's correct, Liz. 
Do you have any? Yeah, it is basically you can see the lights flashing red just below the bowl and there's a red circle around where you can see the hundred. So prior to it being 60 degrees, it will be green. Um, and, and then once, once it reaches 60 degrees, the lights and the circle will turn red to show you that it's 60 and above. And that's when I always tell people with children or even for themselves, when you see that red and it's 60 and above, you don't touch the bowl because that bowl is now 60 degrees, the, the external silver bit that you can see. Yeah. Excellent. Just what I was talking about, what I was thinking of. Um, so, and you can see that it's 98 degrees is the temperature of the bowl and 100 is uh, what it wants. Um, not every step will get to the temperature. Uh, because Just trust the thermix. Um, oh, there you go. We've actually got to 100. Perfect. Um, sometimes it's the steps in the recipe that it's building up the temperature. Um, sometimes it's happy with what it's doing and it's just going to stay on 100 when it's got it, when it says 110. All right. Now with the um, notification that it's done, to actually stop the sound, you can actually press the, cir the circle, you can press the screen or you can press next. Um, they always give us three options for everything. So there's our cooked onion and garlic. So 80 grams of dried apricots. These are pre-chopped because I had them for something else. There we go, 80 grams. Yeah. So 50 grams of raw hazelnuts. Yeah, that means you can hear them. You can mute it, you might not be able to hear them. I don't want them. There we go, 50 grams. Two sprigs of fresh parsley out of the garden. And then a pinch of salt. Is someone having troubles? There we go. All right, and pinch salt to taste. So as we've discussed before, a pinch is whatever you think a pinch is. It could be a big pinch or a little pinch. A pinch of black pepper. So I always actually mill my salt and my pepper. Uh, I buy them um, and then mill it and then pop it into containers rather than actually standing there, everybody's got their... Uh, Their salt grinder and the pepper grinder. It's actually much easier having it milled. Okay, insert measuring cup into mixing bowl. The next, so 10 seconds, it's asking me to go to speed seven, turn speed select to seven, and it actually shows me where seven is on the dial as well. Now, because it's at 70 degrees, once it's over 60, there's a safety um, feature, which means it'll actually go slowly, speed up the blade slowly, um, but then it will start going. You'll see what I mean. And it won't start counting down until the blades have actually got up to speed. So it's going slowly. And, done. and then next, transfer into a bowl and set aside. I've got a bowl here. Now, can you see that? There we go. So that's our stuffing. Now, you can always go back as well. Even though you're following a recipe, if you have... Um, if you chop something and you decide that it's not chopped enough, you can actually go back a step. It's totally up to you. So then you still have, and especially if you are a creative cook, you can still have control even whilst you're following a recipe. 
Right. So I hold the bowl with my thumb at the bottom and my fingers here. And then I go around. Break at the front. There we go. Next. All right. Love these recipes when you don't actually have to um, wash, the, wash and dry the bowl. So one garlic clove. So, of course, I've got the two little ones. Uh, approximately 40 grams of an echelot. So that's your little uh, Swiss, oh, Swiss, French shallot. So 42 grams, close enough. 20 grams of butter. Let's see if I can do it again. Nope, not going to be able to. 14, oh, 19 grams, close enough. Insert measuring cup into bowl. And then next, so three seconds at speed seven. I turn it to seven. Um, please use the, um, the chat if you've got any questions at all or come off mute and, and ask questions if you'd like. So scrape down the sides. So same thing again. I go around the bowl. Not quite tall enough. Story of my life. All right. And the next insert measuring cup. And then it's going to do two minutes speed one. And then I'm just going to go and grab the turkey. So what I've actually done is I have pre um, flattened the turkey. That'll be one of the next steps. So that we can actually finish up on time tonight. So let me bring this down. Okay, so what I've done, so it says uh, turkey breast, and what I've actually done is I've actually got two or three bits and I've just flattened it all together so that it stretches out. Um, I use my mallet. Uh, what, oh yeah, uh, I've used my mallet to do that. Um, I had to buy a new one because I didn't read the instructions and threw it in the dishwasher because everything goes in the dishwasher. Uh, so I had to get myself a new one yesterday. So that's all right. So this recipe is actually from the cookbook, uh, Cooking for Me and You. Ooh. Yes, Cooking for Me and You. Uh, so it's a recipe for one or two people, um, but it certainly is um, a nice lot of food. 32 seconds left. Okay, did everyone see the stuffing? There we go. Oh, how is everyone tonight? Going good? All right, let me just take that place away. So what it's actually going to do as well, this recipe, is it's going to steam the turkey and cook potato and uh, make a sauce as well. So add 500 grams of water. So I'll just tear it. So this is another great all-in-one recipe. Has anybody made a few of these? There's some really good ones out there. There's a chicken one with couscous and salad. There's um, the chicken or salmon velouté, which is fantastic to make um, leek potato soup, as well as um, steaming chicken and your veg. 
uh, and then use some of the leftover soup to make your sauce. It's really good. Okay, teaspoon of chicken stock. Yep, did someone have something? I was going to say that's delicious, that one. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so this says chicken stock. Um, I don't make chicken stock. I make uh, veggie stock uh, and use it for everything. So, and I just pop it in plastic. And what I do is I put the date on the top. Stock lasts for six months in the fridge. Um, and so I just write the date on the top and usually I'll have finished it anyway by the time six months rolls around. Some people put it in the freezer, but my freezer's in the garage, so because it's um, so it's gone in the fridge for me. All right, place simmering basket. So with the TM6, new simmering basket with the lid, it actually fits this little bit here, fits onto the vein here and locks in. There we go. Uh, place six small potatoes, well washed and cut into halves. So I've, I've done that. There we go. Make sure that's locked in. Next, so lay a turkey breast onto a wooden chopping board using a meat mallet or a rolling pin. So I've done that. Spread the stuffing down one side of each breast. So let's do that. One, the other one. Um, has anybody made a turkey or a chicken? and steamed in the Verona. Uh, my, one of my customers, he, I saw him again a couple of months ago um, at his lifestyle village, he's 90 now, but he, um, he steams his chicken in the Verona and then wax it in the oven at the end to make it all crispy. So I'm very proud, very proud of his prowess. I, I steam my chicken. Yeah. Um, there's uh, fish, well, um, like with the teriyaki sauce or, um, yeah, and then sometimes I finish off mine if I want it crispy in the air fryer. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. air fryer is definitely the thing nowadays, isn't it? Lisa, yeah. can you show us the rolling, please? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Uh, so I've just started rolling that. Got to tilt the camera down. And Lisa, can you do this like recipe with chicken instead of turkey or? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it myself. Yep. When we um, we actually went down to um, Dunfra and of course I took my Thermomix and my, um, and my coffee machine with me, as you do. Um, as, you do. as you do. And yeah, I made this one. Uh, and we're a, we're a family of three, so that actually worked out really well for us. So this, so it actually says to uh, wrap it in alley foil. I've just got baking paper underneath. And then I roll it tightly as tight as I can. And then you twist the end like a little, Christmas present. So there's one. And we'll do the other one. We don't have to do the baking paper, but we always used to do baking paper. And I find I'm not a big fan of squishing around with raw raw meat anyway. There we go. Oh, that's broken out, but that's all right. I turn it round. It doesn't have to be super pretty because it's only me eating it. So, and then twist 
both ends. Uh, firm sausage shape, put my turkey rolls into my Varoma. Just wipe my hands. So I'm just going to use the Varoma without the shell. So I pop the lid on. Now the Varoma sits on top without actually locking on, just like that. And then we pop our two in there. And sort of sit there. They'll bend a little bit. I could have made maybe three, three shorter ones, but that's all right. Pop the lid on top. Now, 20 minutes Varoma, which is our steaming temperature. So to use the Varoma, you need Varoma temperature. It gives that rolling boil. You can't cook um, your dinner at 100 degrees and think you're going to be able to steam your veggies on top. Um, at the same time, you need that rolling boil that the Varoma temperature gives you. And then we'll go to speed two. So it says uh, prolong by five minutes if necessary. That's all right. So what I'm going to do now is I am actually going to, that'll be the child home and the dog barking. That's all right. Put the lid on. Max. Just wait for that to arc up. Oh, okay, how is everybody going? And questions? Anything yet? No questions um, in the chat. Um, but uh, yeah, it'd be good to know um, what everyone's working with though. Are they got a TM31, a five or a six, or they're just looking to see what a Thermomix does? It, um, and and mm -hmm. that we have um, that we have these every Thursday night and cook lots yes. of yummy food. The only Absolutely. down part is we're not five minutes around the corner from these. Well, I'm I not. know, <laughs> I know. It's a shame. It's a shame. I'd invite you all around, but you know. <laughs> okay. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to go to my week, and what I'm actually going to do is we're going to do this little gift cranberry and pistachio uh, cookie gift jar. I did this probably two um, Christmases ago. It was uh, really well received. So that was fantastic. And what we do is we fill the jar with all the ingredients for the biscuits. I hate the word cookie. Mm -hmm. Three what? Yeah, three what? Yeah. Uh, peanut gallery in the back. Um, so what I've actually done is I've put the jar where the bowl goes. Now, I wouldn't do this if um, I was going to do anything with liquid because we don't want liquid going around in, in anything, but because it's uh, dry, I'm um, fairly, and the base of the, the jar is, is fairly solid, uh, I'm quite comfortable. So same thing, we've got all our ingredients there and our preparation. So start cooking, place a large jar on the mixing bowl lid. I'm cheating, I'm putting it here. And then next, so, it says to weigh in the ingredients and then press them down so that you get each layer and it looks really nice as you go along. Okay, 150 grams of rolled oats. Pack them down firmly. I'm actually just going to wash my hands again for a second. What a great gift idea for Christmas. Oh, it's fantastic. And, I mean, everybody loved it. You could do it with any, really any biscuit base. Um, you know, you just put the dry ingredients in and then you give them, write them a little note card with the uh, instructions for the wet ingredients, like the butter and stuff like that, and away you go. Ah, that's right, packing down firmly. I'm actually gonna use my hand. As firmly as I can. 
And then next, 200 grams of plain flour. As you go along, it actually packs down more firmly each step. Let's just get a spoon, make it flat. And then tear. Right, it's 200 grams of flour. Uh, and we've talked a lot, we talked a lot last week as well about gifts that you can give. Um, do you ladies want to, uh, yes, we've got, so uh, we're Team Thermo Empire. I'm the team leader. We've got uh, Liz, Claire and Wendy are all part of our team. Um, so does anyone have any, what, 200? Um, any other gift ideas that we've talked about? I, th I think the uh, the fudge is quite good on the um, cookie dough. Yes. Um, and, I, and I think you can work with the filters. Um, with cookie dough in, you know, English recipes, there's about 9,000 now. And I think uh, overall there's probably nearly 90,000. I think it's getting up there of um, international recipes where you could use Google Translate if you wanted to try something different. Um, but there's by going into cookie dough um, on your computer or your phone, you can actually um, do you know do quite a few filter searches and look for things and have a play when you've got five minutes. Um, and then if you find something, you can bookmark, you can um, create a, a collection um, so that you've got something to go back to. So um, like I have as an example, when it comes to Christmas, I have Christmas gift ideas. So I would just every now and again go look in, save a load so when I need them, I can just go straight to my collection. Yeah, so, that's a good idea. Right. Um, and I highly recommend, you know, things like chutneys, making your own, um, oh, what's the drink? My brain, having brain failure today. Um, uh, your Irish cream, make your own Irish cream. The Baileys. Um, the Baileys Mal and then... Mal yeah, Mal yep. Yep. Um, oh, yum. And then making fudge out of Baileys as well is a nice one. So that's a twofer. Um, and bacon jam um, is also really good. Um, that's actually in the recipe community. Um, rather than and, yeah and we're just chatting in the chat um ali likes um citrus or strawberry curd Ooh. Oh, um, nice. and um and also one of the good things um i think with the the thermo mix is that you get the pre-wash you get to you know clean the bowl before you have to actually clean the bowl <laughs> It's, yes um, it's it's very good um so with um so wendy's asking what is a pre-wash um so that's on a tm5 um i think um it's a little while since i've looked at the screen um but on the sixth it um, shows under the mode there's our, yep there's our pre-clean there yep. and you get um to choose the dough universal fats and browning so if you're or cooking meat, then um, you can um, pop a little bit of vinegar in or, or a little bit of washing detergent and then put it on browning. And uh, it just helps with the cleaning process. But with the five, I think it has the pre-clean in this on the screen as well. In a so you just section. need to have, though, you need to ha actually have the um, cook key to be able to do the updates on the TM5. If you actually don't have the cook key, you can't update to, they've added a couple of modes into the five, um, but if you don't have the cook key, you're not able to um, update from your Wi-Fi is the only thing. Um, so it says golden caster sugar. So I uh, did a bit of Google 
and it's actually uh, raw caster sugar. If you can't get raw caster sugar, just use caster sugar itself. Um, don't use uh, brown sugar or anything like that. Um, it said on Google, told me, um, that because of the, um, the actual texture and stuff like that of caster sugar, that it, if it asks for caster sugar, then uh, if it asks for golden caster sugar, then just use plain caster sugar. But I do like the color of the um, of the raw caster sugar. So I actually made an effort and, and went and got some. I got it at Woolies. There we go. Just take that off. Warm it down. Um, and there's other things as well that you could do is um, things like um, make the limoncello um, or there's a berry liqueur, um, but that sort of thing sort of start, don't start that the week before Christmas, start that a um, couple of months before so that, it, that the liquor actually gets the opportunity to, to absorb. There we go. Next 100 grams of dried cranberries. So I actually use the craisins in my um, white Christmas because I'm not actually a big fan of raisins or cranberry, uh, raisins or sultanas. So every time there's a raisin or sultana uh, ingredient needed, I actually use cranberries instead. One, there we go. Oh. Okay. How's everybody going out there? So I, I actually um, did this and then I uh, put a, a nice bowl in it and then um, printed out the recipe, which anybody with or without a Thermomix can make biscuits, of course. All right, so 100 grams of pistachios. Packing down firmly. Oops, no 16. Yep, take a few off. Oh. So I'm actually going to press down with my hands now that it's got to the top. You could okay. probably, could you use a long stemmed wine glass to do that? Oh, yes, you could, you could. I'm sure there's several things I could do, I could use rather than my fingers, even though they're clean. Um, okay, remove jar from lid and then add to jar half a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Like that. There we go. Yum. And then half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh, 
There we go. And then seal and label it. So just like that. That looks pretty good. If I had a little bit more time, I could do it even more perfect. Um, and then it says to make the cookie. So this would be the, the recipe that you uh, add is preheat the oven, baking trays, uh, 200 grams of butter, two large eggs, mix it, contents of the glass jar, teaspoon of baking powder, mix again. So, you know, they could do it themselves with just with a spatula or whatever in a bowl. That'd be fine. And then you go. And it's, I've, I've had these biscuits. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, okay. Bake for 14 minutes until golden. Transfer to a wire rack. So, of course, every recipe at the start has a picture at the end has a picture. So you can get as um, uh, crafty as you want. All right, okay. So we've got four minutes left over here. And whilst we're doing that, um, do you want to let me um, share screen, Liz, or have you got the, um, yeah. the things? No, I haven't. Uh, how oh. do I give you permission for that? Uh, so go down to share screen and yeah. click on it and it should let you allow several users, I think it says. Yep, there you go. Yep, cool. All right. Okay, so the big thing at the moment, let me share my screen. Share and go big. So at the moment, until Sunday night at midnight, if you actually host a uh, cookie experience, um, you can actually get the normal host rewards plus this free uh, Black Thermo server, of which I have right here. Um, and doesn't that look groovy? look great on your table um but that's only until midnight on sunday so contact your uh consultant about that um and also if um or if you've actually brought two people along to tonight you can qualify for host rewards and i'm pleased to announce that connie griffiths qualifies tonight Ooh. As, awesome. Um, she has two guests on, and Connie is a regular for um, coming along wow. and supporting our online Zooms and inviting guests along as well. So thanks, oh, Connie. Fab. Yes, thank you, Connie. That's awesome. All right. So then on top of the Black Thermo server, we have our usual um, host rewards. So you can have a look there. Um you, as well as the Black Thermo server, you can choose one of these. If somebody buys from your cookie experience, you, you can actually choose one of these uh, items for free. But even if nobody buys from your cooking experience, you can still get them at the host price, which is, you know, super cheap. And it's, for you know, just bring a few friends along to check out and see what we're doing here or to see the Thermomix in action. And then we have our, um, let me share. So our purchase offer until the 1st of um, August is actually this very cool offer. So when you buy a Thermomix, you normally get six months cookie do for free. If you buy this month, you're actually getting 18 months of cookie do for free, uh, which is fantastic. Then you can just start cooking, keep cooking, and not have to worry about um, resubscribing for a whole another 18 months. And if you actually register for cookie do as well, you get one month free. So then that ends up being 19 months of cookie do, which is fantastic. Um, and then here is our little plug for our. 
our team. Just while you're finding that, Lisa, Wendy's yep. actually qualified tonight too. Um, Georgia Ooh. and um, uh, Lester are on as well. Oh, so, fantastic. Um, yeah, that's good. So Yay! Wendy's got a lovely black firma server coming towards her as well. Yay. Yes, awesome. Um, and then, yes, if you're looking for a side hustle um, or even starting a business um, for July and August, you, the business kit is only $62.50. And I actually have, I've got 30 seconds. So let me just go and grab this amazing business kit. So you actually get $340 worth of stuff. And if you join and do no more than learn some more about your Thermix, let me stop share, learn some more about your Thermix and meet some lovely people. So you get a Thermo server, you get bread mat, you get a carry bag. It's fantastic. It all comes in this beautiful box. Um, as your business kit. And then I teach you and you do some online learning. And away we go. All right, so transfer the turkey into a, and potatoes into a thermal serving bowl. Actually, I will use the other one so we can see that as well. I'm gonna use our oval. Do that a little bit. So always tilt your Varoma lid away from you. And then I just bring it over. And if you sit it on an upside down lid, you're actually keeping your bench lovely and clean. Then we just pop our turkey in there. And then our potatoes. So always use your spatula to grab your steaming basket out and then you can just tip it that way. So I'm going to put the lid on. So a thermo server is actually like a thermos. It keeps your food hot for up to two hours uh, and it can keep it cold as well. So then make the sauce. We've got our um, the stock that's in there that you can see now. Uh, 20 grams of dry white wine. So I just, we don't really drink wine in the house. So I've just got a, a bottle hanging out just for cooking. Oops. And then 20 grams of plain flour. Steam. 20. And normally I actually throw my dry ingredients around the outside so that it doesn't sit on the on the knob of the, the blades. Tablespoon of Dijon. And then if you wanted to go fancy, you could actually do half a tablespoon of Dijon and half a tablespoon of um, whole grain mustard. Also does a good job. And it makes it look really lovely if you've got gaps. One to two pinches of salt for taste. Pepper, same thing. And then without the measuring cup, four minutes, 100, speed three. All right, and then what I'll do is I will grab a chopping board and I'll cut up the roulade so that you can see what that looks like. Has anybody got any other questions at the moment? Questions, comments, anything?
Um, Lisa, I yeah. actually missed the name of the turkey roulade recipe. Is it oh, okay, yes. Yeah. It's the apricot and hazelnut. Let's have a look. Uh, turkey breast roulade with apricot and hazelnut stuff in it. So there's um, actually a couple yeah, of the link. The link is in the chat. Claire has put yes. it up. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I actually had to jump off a while back ah. to help Lynn and I, it's not there. I think if you do a chat, just say hello, you, it might bring sorry, up. Sorry, that was my fault. No, that's okay, Lynn. <laughs> that's all right. Um, okay. um, yeah. And then, so if, even if you just type in turkey relax, there's actually a couple of them. There's an apple and sage stuffing one yes, um, as well, which is rather lovely. Oh, that's that's a... apricot and hazelnut. Was that the one? Yeah, yeah. I've just put it back in the chat. I've just put the link. Oh, back thank in. you. Yeah. So every, everyone, yeah. with the links that are there, um, you can also, there are three dots to the side of the comment of the chat. If you press that, it's you can copy it. So copy it and then you can paste it into um, straight away either into your um, uh, internet, um, whatever you use, or put it into your notes yep. or whatever. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't know that. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here is our turkey roulade. So I'm just going to use. Sorry to know. I haven't got a fork, so I'll just use a spoon. Adapt and overcome will be on my gravestone. There we go. I'll pop them on a, a dark plate so you can see them. So there we go. If I'd gone the opposite way and rolled it the long way, um, we would have got more rolls out of it. Um, it's not too bad. There we go. All right. And then the sauce will be done in just 45 seconds. Let me roll that back up. Oh, and I nearly finished on time tonight, which is fantastic. Only just a little bit over. Pop that in there. Got a couple of spuds out. And so what you could also do is put, um, because it was uh, steaming, you could have, put the tray on and steam some veg um, on the top, um, such as maybe some broccolini or something like that. And how you actually work out how long to um, steam for, in the back of your basic cookbook, the white one, at the very back is the steaming times for everything. So because we had our layers going, this time you could actually uh, add some extra vegetables on top. Okay, serve turkey breast sliced with potatoes and a sauce on the side. And there's our sauce. Just mix it a little bit more. Of course, I put the, the flour as a lump on the top. of the blades. It's all right. There. And that's it. Quick dinner. There. And I'll show you my plate. And there we go.
obviously we need some greens so i should have thought about putting the the veg on top but that's something that you can do when you cook it um has anybody got any other questions so we've got our turkey we've got our biscuit gift jar there oh, and we've shown you all our um offers and um lisa that would be yummy the next day for lunch boxes wouldn't it very much so yep. very much so yes i'll be i'll be having it tomorrow for lunch definitely uh definitely it's yeah just beautiful i'm coming to your house okay <laughs> 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 I <can smell> <laughs> <from here. laughs> yeah where oh, do you where do you buy the turkey breasts from um i actually just bought them at woolies um normally turkey breasts it depends on the company but um it's obviously right next to, next to the chicken, um, but sometimes the manufacturer will have a, the purple colour base. So you know how sometimes chicken has a certain colour and pork has a certain colour and that. Um, turkey is actually uh, the purple plastic base. Um, or you could go to a any um, butcher, I reckon, and get some as well. Um, but yeah, I just went to I just went to Woolies and they had it there. which is great. All right, any other questions, comments? Or suggestions for next week? Oh, yes, please, suggestions for next week. Um, I actually have somebody coming along um, who's gonna host in two weeks time and she's requested um, a bit of an Asian uh, theme. So does anybody have any suggestions for next week? Is there anything you'd like um us to try before you do or see how it's done get some hints and tips um please let us know in the chat that'd be fantastic um ooh, so let me list things that we've done before we've done uh vegan meringues we've done pavlovas we've done um chiffon cake and it's not all been desserts um uh, we've made, um, what else have we done? Um, oh, nut milk items. We've also done, um, oh, lots of other things that I can't remember. Oh, um, Mihoon, we did that. Um, so, yeah, if you can think of anything, please uh note it in the chat or let your consultant know and we'll give it a bash next thursday so every thursday 7 p.m same time same uh link same codes different theme every week um and we try to keep it to 45 minutes and teach you as many hints and tips as we can as we go along all righty anyone Thank you. I've really enjoyed watching tonight. Oh, fabulous. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks for coming along. That's fantastic. It's been really good. Oh, good. I hope to see you again on another Thursday. That'd be yeah. fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, first time. Loved it. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks, I. I you'll have to let us know how to say it. Um, Thank you very much. Um, yep, yeah, thanks to Anastasia, Connie, Georgia, Jenny, Jasmine, Judy, Lester, Wendy, Wendy. Oh, awesome. Lovely amount of people on this week. Um, and feel free to share the link as well. Um, and with, yeah, with your friends, invite your friends, get host rewards for not a lot of time and effort. And uh, thanks everyone for coming along. Okay, bye. Uh, bye everyone. Thank you. Bye. bye. Thanks for coming. Awesome. Thanks for coming along.
Bye now. Okay. Thanks, Liz. All righty. Yeah, I had to remove everyone. I don't think they know how. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get them there eventually. Yeah. That um, iPad 10 never changed their name, I noticed. Uh, yeah, I think well, I think it, it's a struggle for some people to even figure out how to, how to get on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Actually, I was excited today. I've, um, I've got a – I'm doing a cooking experience on Saturday morning, oh, half, yeah. in, half in person and half on Zoom to Bunbury. And the lady in Bunbury, oh. I'm like, oh, do you know how to Zoom? Oh, yes, I've got Zoom on all of my um, – all of my things and I'm like oh, yes <laughs> excellent <laughs> very good well my customer Connie Griffiths she she's yeah. attended a few of these and brought guests and I've, I've done things for her as well she actually got a new laptop so that she could do oh, that's she could. Yeah. oh fantastic is she the one in Darwin yeah, yeah yeah oh fantastic yeah she's very keen yeah that's good that's what we want yeah, that's yeah. what we want. And then you have, yeah, raving fan and, and away you go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Okay. Cool. All well, right, I know thank what you I'm for that. I, yeah, yeah. I, I just, when I looked, I thought, well, wow, that's great for lunch. Oh, it's, it's so good. Yeah. And it tastes delicious. Yeah, yeah. And it's easy. And I'm thinking you could even do that with Asian flavours. Mm. The stuffing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that'd be good. Mm. Okay. That's a good idea. We can mention that next week. Look, yeah. Lee, yeah, if you've got any ideas, let me know. Okay. okay. Uh, now, I, all I do is just end it now, don't I? Yes. I just end. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa. And then I'll let you know if, it's, if I don't have the recording. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It should be right. It should be right. All right. Good night. Okay. Take care. Bye. See ya. Thanks, Bye. Liz. Bye.